come back we're going to talk about what's going to be happening behind the camera in the next couple of months my vision my plan my ideas how much of it will be able to afford who knows but i will say this i ain't doing none of the work not gonna happen What's going on everybody? This is Patrick Mid-10 Outdoors. Well, it's going to be the first video in several, I'm sure. Um, <clears throat> my outdoor space here at home sucks. Plain and simple. So I got a new fire pit. It's going to be replacing that fire pit, which is sitting right there, which is completely done. <laughs> but... That's not the only problem. Years ago, put in a swimming pool when we first moved in, 18 foot, it was nice, it was awesome while we had it, it's done. Uh, the original deck is, well, let me turn the camera around, I'll show you what's going on. So, the original deck, as you see right there, um, normal size deck they put on the back of a house, lived with it for about a year and then we added that thing right there that swimming pool if i could tell anybody out there yes they're great in the first three or four years but after that headache so anyway you've got the swimming pool coming out the old deck which is caving in falling in and that was built with yellow wood professionally is also very bad pool versus deck. Eventually, the water rots the wood. Plain and simple. That's all this took. Water has rotted the wood. So, plan is, I'm gonna find somebody to come in and tear everything out. The only thing we're keeping is probably the plastic box, my Blackstone, my kettle grill, two metal benches, a gas fire of gas. Uh, pit, fire pit and we'll stay on the upper deck plan is to rip, of course rip all this all out and start over new this be a patio in this shape down here kind of a rounded front with um, concrete patio all leveled out there will probably be a little bit of a hill right there that we can wall, do a kind of a quarter wall or whatever, you know, rock wall, whatever they want. I don't care. Something to kind of wall it. The other plans are this: these two trees have got to be uh, trimmed up this year. That's all this to it. I've got to spend some money to get these trees trimmed up. They're big old oaks. I don't want to get rid of them. I like them. But they need to be trimmed. I mean, when this thing, when we first put this thing, this swimming pool in, this tree, the limbs didn't come anywhere near the pool. And now, as you can see, they would be well over the pool. So they've got to come down, not come down. I don't want the trees to come down. The only tree I want to come down in my yard is this cedar. I want this cedar taken down this fall. I want these trimmed up so they're healthier. Um, concrete pad big enough area that I want at least three cedar posts put in about seven foot high maybe six foot high to hang hammocks from at some point in the center of that we will put the new fire pit that I put together if you didn't see that video I'll tag it at the end of this video check out the new fire pit I'm gonna have for this I would like for them to be able to reuse the rock that I've got sitting here as a border of the concrete, if I can do that. Um, that would be really sweet. But like I said, everything else, gone. Out of here. See you later. Sayonara. It's been, it was great while I had you. It's time for all new. Like I said, seating wise down here, I'm not really sure what else I want to do, but I would like to have two or three cedar posts where you can hang a hammock if not three definitely two and when i say three is have one kind of like right there one in the center and one at the other edge that way you could drape two hammocks across there i think it'd be kind of cool 
It'd be on the concrete and get out, no problem at all. Follow the hammock was hard busting in. Anyway, beside the point. But uh, easy kind of stairway slash walkway rampish going down to the patio would be kind of cool too. Um, wouldn't mind maybe bringing the deck out a little bit or widening the deck up there for grilling purposes and hanging out purposes up there but then you have this big patio down here to hang out on also with fire pit possibly possibly hot tub at some point we don't know we're just saying but a concrete pad big enough like i said that's an 18 foot pool so you figure there's at least 20 feet right there maybe 25 that would be concrete pad so you have plenty of room for activities of any sorts. So that is my plans, is to get my backyard space back into a backyard space. It'll help sell the house eventually. Oh, the other thing too is over this deck here, this house has a roof thing that they added. I saw another version of that that I would like to do on ours that's made with metal that is one less thing you would have to go back and at some point redo some point you would have to reshingle that hopefully the wood structure itself doesn't rot that's why i want to use uh, cedar post for the hammocks here i want to use metal as far as the, the awning coming off a hard awning and metal posts going down so that way you just you know it's a matter of uh, keeping up pain on the metal which is no big deal I mean it's easy um, also thinking about on the flooring of the new deck up here using composite and possibly composite rails the rest of it can be regular wood that's fine but I'm thinking of the hard surfaces that you would walk on all the time make it all composite so now I'm going to end it that is my plans for our outdoor space. We have a great outdoor space. We have this tree line here that there's actually a retention pond behind me. So I don't care that that tree line's there and I can't see the people behind me. Neighbor beside me, great people. Neighbor on the other side of me now are great people that the other one's moved out. So I don't care. Um, work on this stuff down here this winter. Um, I want to get some more bird houses and stuff like that up so we can uh, attract more birds and be able to bird. So, I mean, possibilities when this place will sell, we're thinking within the next three to four years, three to five years at least, um, staying here that much longer and then selling it. By then, Chloe will be through college. Hopefully, Chase will be moved out. Anyway, um, and just be me and her, so we don't need a two-story, four-bedroom house. We just don't need it. And we do have four bedrooms. We have three upstairs. We actually have two regular bedrooms. Uh, bonus master upstairs. The main master is downstairs. So, anyway, that's it for this one. Once things start rolling on this, I will bring you guys back and I will show you what we're going to be doing. Any changes that have been made to my ideas, I will let you know. Um, I'm open to whatever. But it has to be a deck going back here. Would love a patio there. And wherever money allows us to do whatever we can do. So that's what we're going to do. So stay tuned guys. Like I said probably start calling around trying to find a outdoor space people to build it and um, we'll start there so see you on the next one guys be prepared later